Hey, good morning everyone. Friday morning, the 19th of March, 2021. This morning's devotional is a reading from Matthew chapter 25, verse 40, which reads, The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. In Jesus' day, foot washing was the custom because all of the roads were dirt roads. They didn't have tar roads like we have today. But it was a task that the servants performed for important people. And so the disciples were very uncomfortable when Jesus chose to serve them by washing their feet. This is an act as well which we partake in on, Mo on Maundy Thursday, just before Good Friday, is the foot washing ceremony in which members are invited to wash each other's feet. It's very difficult because some feel very uncomfortable washing the feet of a neighbor. Jesus explained in John chapter 13 verse 8 that this humble act represented part of what it means to belong to Jesus. In most cultures today, we no longer wash one another's feet, but we have opportunities to serve one another humbly. Today, foot washing might be translated into cleaning up after someone who is sick, preparing food for someone who is tired, or even doing shopping for an elderly neighbor or family member. Once again, Jesus reminds us in John 13 verse 15, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done. The motivation behind serving others is also important. It's not about what you are able to get out of the transaction. Jesus cared for his friends humbly because he loved them. He never viewed people as objects for personal enrichment. He served not because he needed to be perceived as good or even to make himself feel good. Serving goes beyond a particular act. It's meant to be a complete lifestyle. Lifestyles are formed from patterns of living. A habit of serving leads us to spontaneously meet human need. My dear friends, the next time you do something mundane or unglamorous or that's not nice for someone else, remember you are showing love as Christ loves. Jesus once again reminds us in Matthew chapter 20, verses 26, Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And we have this great reminder where Jesus himself said, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. May we use this opportunity to seek ways to serve others, to love others in ways that, well, they wouldn't even guess. But remember, we don't do this for personal gain or enrichment. We do it because we love our neighbor. With those words, my prayer is, may the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.